Hello, my name is Dennis Torse, and I grew up not far away in Newton, Massachusetts. I'm a business owner of Forklift Catering, which was founded in 2009 at an incubator kitchen in Jamaica Plain. I rent, along with my wife and kids, on Prescott Street near the Cumming School, where in January I will go to register my eldest son for Somerville Public Kindergarten. When I have a free moment, you'll find me in my favorite part of the square, tending to my mini farm, as I call it which is located partially in my driveway and for the last four years also down the street at Osgood Community Garden. Like many other Union Square business owners and workers, I also live here and have in this part of Somerville for seven years. Before moving to Union, my wife and I were pushed out of Davis Square because of rising rents in that area. In the first few years, rent was manageable here. However, in the last four years, we have experienced a rental increase of 30%. In August 2011, my business partner Jamie and I responded to a Craigslist ad for a commissary space in Union Square. What I didn't know was that the space I would walk into to tour four days later would be the very kitchen of Eat Restaurant, where I had worked 10 years prior in 2001. Our business, Forklift Catering, has been located in this space on Sanborn Court ever since. For those of you who were not here 16 years ago in 2001 and don't know, Eat was a great neighborhood restaurant and one of the only scratch kitchens in the square at that time. The best part was that Eat had a guest chef collaboration series with amazing chefs like Julia Child, Gordon Hammersley, and Union Square's first celebrity chef, Al Capone. Now, we all know this theme of collaboration and inclusion is a vital part of Union Square's character today, as it was then and in the past with the Irish, Italians, Portuguese, the Brazilians, Punjabi, and Sikh and even in the square's early days as a mustering site for Union Army recruits. I understand and recognize the need of a neighborhood council to have more than just people with time and energy. It needs people with actual skills and experience who can execute, planners, designers, and lawyers. But it must be a collaboration with basic representation and advocates too. As an owner of a business, I have a lot of experience listening to people and taking into account all perspectives before acting. This is what I will bring to the council, sound and solid representation for the business community and all of our neighbors in the square. Eat Restaurant was way ahead of its time here and sadly didn't make it. The existing businesses and the employees who work here today are such a substantial part of what gives Union Square its character and what makes Union Square Union Square. Let's make sure our businesses are heard and represented along with us residents. I have one more quick story that I will tell you. I asked my son Oscar, who is four, and Holden, excuse me, sons, Oscar, who is four, and Holden, who is two, what they would like to see at the new parks that will be built in Union Square. Of course, my question was met with another question. Will your garden be there like at Osgood? Oscar asked. I replied, I don't know, but if it were up to me, then the answer would be yes. He proudly said, then I would like a pole to slide on. And his younger brother quickly chimed in with, and I want a little pole to slide on too, Daddy. The kids of Union Square do not have a seat on this council, but it's their square too, and they will be here long after we are. So let's make sure their quiet voices are heard and we make Union a kid-friendly place too, a place where children can discover and learn, and most importantly for the little ones, a place to play. Thank you for taking the time to listen to me, and thank you for going out to vote on December 2nd or December 6th.